Hello guys and welcome back to this brand new video about how Microsoft will change or has changed the internet forever. So with this let's start right now. Microsoft changed the internet with integrating an AI into their search engine Bing. And this is the introduction to the new Bing where you can ask real questions and get complete answers, chat and create it for free. So Bing chat is essentially the same as ChatGPT. They are both text generators, text generative AI models. And the nice thing about Bing Chat is that it's actually included into the web search engine. So this makes Bing, uh, gives Bing a big plus in front of ChatGPT, which was shut down and um, a year ago from the net. And Bing can take information from now. So this gives Bing a big, big plus. So let's try it. I will show you how it, is, uh, how it will look. If you search it, for example, they give some uh, explanations and some examples here. For example, I'm planning a trip for our university in September. What are some places we can go that are within a three hour flight from London Heathrow? So what you normally will, uh, will get if you Google or example, uh, if you search this in the search engine is that, for example, you get some uh, flight websites or 25 romantic places, but not anymore. Now with Bing, you get this here. Congratulations on your anniversary. anniversary. There are many places you can go that are within a three hour flight from London Heathrow. Here are some suggestions based on your preferences and the best destinations uh, in Europe in September. This definitely looks really cool. It also gives you the links to the flights and to these places and to the, uh, where it has found it. So definitely nice to see this. And now you can chat with it here uh, and this chat window will open and you can chat with it. It's definitely really nice to see it. Thank you, that was very helpful. And now it will again respond to me. So this is definitely a really, really, really big thing. But as you have seen it on the site before here, you need to join a waitlist. So this isn't out yet for everyone. You have to join a waitlist to get into this Bing chat. And how to do that, I want to show it to you now. Here you can see uh, if you ask such a demo question, you will get to the site and if you're not logged in or sign in already, you will see here down below, join the waitlist. You will click on this link and then insert um, your account details if you have a Microsoft account. And if you don't have one, you need to create one uh, and then you click yourself through this. So if you have not created yourself an account or logged in with your own Microsoft account, then you will come back to this page and you will see that you are already on the waitlist. What you can do now to get faster access to Bing is to click onto this here. Then you will be redicted to the Bing page and here are two options which you can do now. And this, the first one is to set Microsoft uh, as a default on your PC. So you click on set now. Then you will be again redicted to Microsoft download, uh, which I will stop directly and download you the Microsoft defaults EXA. You can run this EXA data and then Microsoft um, Edge will be set up as your search engine browser. So the next thing is you can get the Bing app or get the Skype app. I for myself had uh, downloaded the Bing app on my mobile phone uh, two days ago. And today I got an email notification by Microsoft, which says that I'm in. And I can show it to you real quick. This you're in. Welcome to the new Bing. We are excited to give you access to an early preview of the new Bing, your AI powered answer engine. So, and then you can click on chat now and everything will work. So what did I do? I downloaded this app and I set it Microsoft as my defaults on PC. And with that, it only took two days to get access to the new Bing search engine. So definitely really nice and easy to do this for you guys so now i want to show you how this app feature looks like guys here this is the app feature we open it on the mobile phone and here we are this is our normal search page from the bing website and now we can all, uh, search for something and also here comes hi i'm bing your ai powered copilot for the web let's chat so let's click on let's chat if you want directly to go to the chat uh, we can load it and then we are directly into the chat and we can also use the speech function, which is definitely really nice to see. So I want to try with you the speech function now out. So the thing is now, I cannot show you directly uh, the 
uh, the speech text to speech function because well, I cannot screen record and click on the speech function. So I will show it to you uh, or you will hear it from me and then you will see the answer from, from Bing Chat. So let's try it out. Write me a short paragraph about dogs playing in the snow. So now it got this right and correctfully. And now sure, it... I can write a short paragraph about dogs playing in the snow. Here is one possible paragraph. The snow was fresh and fluffy, covering the ground like a white blanket. The dogs were eager to explore and have fun in the winter wonderland. So guys, this really sounds good. And here you can see it again. Um, here you see it, uh, write me an short paragraph about dogs playing in the snow and then it got it correctly with the speech function and also write me the short paragraph. So definitely this works directly and that's really good to see that I can use this on my mobile phone as well. So, but I can use this well, whole thing uh, as on my mobile phone, I can use it on my computer in the web. Oh guys, and now I want to show you how this whole thing works on the search engine and I am now whitelisted. You can then you can then now click on chat now and you will be redicted to the chat directly. So now I'm here in the chat window as we have seen it already on the mobile version. So guys now let's try this out here and here already um, I'm happy to start over. What can I assist you with now? So let's ask it something uh, for example write me a short mm, story about a boy living uh, on a mountain short thing <laughs> isn't really true but let's see what it gives us here sure i can write it and now in this field here he writes us a possible story definitely works Oh, and now here we have the written story of a boy which lives in the mountains. It's Ellie, who loves the mountains. So, and what you can see down below here is, it also writes that I hope you like this story. And what we see here is one out of ten in the green dot. So, Bing Chat is, Bing Chat's capacity of one chat here, which we have here, is decreased to ten answers. Or was decreased to ten answers from the developers because Bing Chat showed Mm, an unnormal behavior uh, within longer chats of showing anger or being also being mean or so to the chatters and showed this with really really uh, yeah angry emojis or really angry texts text and so that this doesn't happen anymore is they decrease the number of uh, of possible answers from being chat within one chat which we started here to 10. So that's no problem for us at all because you can get a new topic and now you start again from zero. But definitely mm, to keep this in mind that Bing Chat isn't the same as ChatGPT. ChatGPT hasn't done anything quite near this. So Bing Chat, there is a MIT professor which uh, spoke about this theme, uh, which thought this could be because Bing Chat was only a short time involved uh, to the internet moment. And the internet is a complex. Um, there are many is a complex where many conversations are bad and mean or harassment uh, is in within these uh, conversations. And so Bing adopted this and now included this into itself. So that's um, a possible um, op option for why Bing Chat has done this in the past. So definitely uh, you need to keep this in mind. But overall, Bing Chat is definitely a really really cool and innovational. AI which is included into the search engine. So for example, let's search for uh, create uh, me um, res, uh, create me a meal for four persons dinner. So normally you would only get this here, but with the new Bing chat you also get um, an AI which can answer this for you so you get a direct conversation with a person more or more or less and here it is hello this is Bing I can help you find some meal ideas for four persons for dinner according to web searches uh, some of the popular and easy dinner receipts for families are campfire stew and it gives you directly the link to this place and to this receipt so definitely really nice you can now interact with it or click on let's chat and then it goes up here and you can chat with it so you also have uh, 
the option to choose between different conversation styles, between a more creative or a more precise one. We are now at the balanced one, which is uh, in the midfield of those both. And you can play around with this. Definitely nice to see this, um, that they got so many features here. But this is definitely really, really nice. And so I have to say Google is in danger if I can see this here. Definitely really nice to see this. So I haven't seen anything like this with Google Bot, for example, where they included it and Microsoft did this in a really, really short time and included this Bing. So if you look back at ChatGPT, ChatGPT was brought out in, back in September 2022 and in January they launched already Bing Chat. So definitely really fast and Microsoft wants to get here new uh, development. So definitely really good to see this. And the last thing I want to show you is Microsoft's um, Edge Dev uh, page. Now we are in the Microsoft Dev page and Microsoft Edge Dev page, as we can see down below here. And Microsoft Dev page has the nice feature that here in the Discover space on the sidebar, you can already use the Bing chat within the website where you are. So you got the insights. This is everything you have already known. But now you can already use this Bing chat, for example, to get information from the website where you are, for example, um, give me the name of the man which is here. So we can try it now out here. Uh, for some people it might work, for other people it doesn't work because it's in the beta. This is only a trial, so I don't know if this will work now. So we click, for example, on this video from Marcus Braun Lee. And then let's skip this. Um, skip this ad first. So, and now we have it in the video. Now we will ask uh, Bing Chat who is this uh, guy in the video so and in some cases bing chat can already answer this question with marquez brown lee so let's see what it does in our case so in our case it says that it's sorry but it can't see a video on your device can you tell me more about the video so that's not the thing i wanted to see here so here we are in the video already. So so now we try it again when I'm logged into YouTube. Uh, I can't think this could bring something with the video. So let's see if this brings anything. If it doesn't bring anything, I can link you a video down below. Yes, I, uh, yes, you can. You can see it uh, on the device. But normally, this when this will work, so that you can browse for. Uh, your YouTube videos, for example, you can summarize them in short minute, uh, in short 30 seconds, this 12 minute video, you can summarize it on the side here, or you can search for something, then it definitely changes everything again. So this is definitely really crazy to watch. So what we can do now is we can give this thing the link. Um, so it will see it, but if it can directly interact with it, it will be anything better. So, so this gives out Lino Sebastian, a Canadian YouTube personality. So that's why it only looks at the first seconds of the video. And look who we got here, that's Lino Sebastian. So it directly gave us the first person which it saw in the video on the left side, Lino Sebastian. And not Marcus Pronley, who comes up at the first minute first. So definitely this works, but it would be many many times greater if it would work that it puts, uh, works with the video itself before I have to give it the link. If this will work in the future, I think they will fix this. Um, I, already, I already wrote them an email uh, about my problems and asked the support about this and if I get an answer from them and I get this to work, I will make another video and show you how this now works with the summarization of YouTube videos or articles or other blog posts for example and then I will give you another video about this topic. But for now uh, this should be enough for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the short tutorial about how to get on the wait list for Bing Chat and how to acquire Bing Chat fast. So thanks guys uh, for listening. Please subscribe to my channel and click the like button. I hope you enjoyed the short informational video and bye.